Okay, uh, good evening. This video on briefly look at the uh, video put up by Robert Breaker, which is a third time. And uh, essentially, he doesn't change anything that I have in the other video. Except one, I'll take one notification. He keeps talking about Abraham being saved by believing a promise that Isaac, that a promise 100 years old that Isaac, uh, about Isaac. That, that was happened, that happened at uh, Genesis 17, not Genesis uh, 15. So he's got that fouled up. He's got that fouled up. But essentially he says the same thing. He, he says no assurance for Old Testament salvation, people's salvation. He's get, he gets the, the argument fouled up in Romans 4, which is a logical argument. He puts but now and he reads in there. He reads the in, Genesis, in Romans 7, uh, the iniquities are forgiven and the sins are covered. He doesn't point out. Well, the iniquities are forgiven and the sins are covered. That was, that was God applying the blood. So he doesn't say anything very new about from the last video they put up. He changed the beginning where he talked about who was written to. But everything else he says, again, he fouls up just like Kim does. He fouls up, he says, Kim believes, he's, you got, uh, Abraham got saved by believing in the stars. He got believing in the Lord. And uh, uh, Breaker goes back here and says the same thing. He says, well, uh, Abraham was 100 years old and he, he was going to believe, you know, he wasn't 100 years old in Genesis 15, 6. He had a son after that. So fouled up he is. He doesn't stand a logical argument of Paul. He doesn't stand the problem. Paul is saying he wasn't justified by works. James is saying he was justified by works. Luther got it right. Luther could read. Kim even understood the problem. So basically, the the the, problem, the video I put up before, even though he deleted the, uh, I believe the second video, or the, I don't know the first two, if he deleted them, uh, I'll link it to this video. That video essentially is saying the same thing. He just goes through the rest of it, slightly edits. He doesn't read uh, in Romans 4. He doesn't read it. Again, when he's looking right at it, just like him, and whose sins are covered. He doesn't read it. He reads the first time, he doesn't read it the second time. And that's very important because sins, our sins are uncovered. That's Old Testament salvation, whose iniquities are forgiven. God was forgiving people and covering their sins based on the for preforeseen cause. No one gets saved by works. Any dispensation. When somebody's telling you that, they're lying to you. So he edited the third one, and I'll connect you to the third one, but that, my other videos that have dealt with him, he, he's essentially saying the same thing. He hasn't said anything. Again, he fouls up the issue of Abraham. Again. You listen to him, he's going to say, well, Abraham, you know, he believed that even though he was 100 years old. Well, that was later. That wasn't, that's not Genesis 15, 6. Because he had a child from Hagar. He wasn't sexually dead yet. And Sarah wasn't sexually dead yet. She could still conceive. That's why she she was barren. But she still knew she could was able to uh, uh, have a child age-wise. But at 90 and 100, yeah, they knew they were, you know, that was done. That was done. And then, got child. And then 18, Genesis 18, the Lord comes and says that next year uh, Sarah will have that child. So I'm going to put this up real quick and... Uh, so what I, what, I, uh, what, uh, what I talked about in another video will hold up and there's needs going over his entire video on that again. And so just deal with, uh, you know, the more you listen to it, the more you realize how uh, idiotic the guy is. Talking about Talmans, Egyptians. Crucifixion was created by the Carthaginians. That was their form of execution. And the Romans picked it up. But uh, it wasn't the Egyptians. In the Egyptian cross, and he says, uh, demon worshippers thought that God, Christ was dying for them. What? Can this nonsense from? And of course, he still repeats Abraham, an angel comes down and grabbing Abraham's arm, which he didn't do. He caught from heaven. This is what you get with these guys. They just throw anything in, make up anything, and goofy act goofy. Kim talking about five times, about four or five times, fights on the board. Abraham was saved by believing in the stars. <laughs> he reads the passage, he can't, see, he can't see it. They read the verses and they can't read them. He won't deal with what David said. David was saying under the law how he was saved. Abraham was saying how he was saved before the law. And they were both saved by faith alone. Justification is your walk. So I'll stop with this up. Amen, thank you.